It's me, Gabriel Ross. And in this segment, I'm gonna show you a great recipe that you can use for the Super Bowl. Now, if you're anything like me, you like to have chicken during the big game, but not just any chicken, smoked chicken, the best kind of chicken. In this segment, I'm gonna show you my recipe for some Asian-inspired barbecue smoked chicken. Let's take a look. So the first thing that I did was uh, I took all of my uh, chicken drumsticks. Obviously, since uh, it's Super Bowl, you can use chicken wings, but the store didn't have any chicken wings, so I used drumsticks. And hey, they're bigger. So, you know, the bigger the better, right? So anyway, I took a whole pack of chicken drumsticks and I put them in a Tupperware. I immediately covered them with a bunch of kosher salt. And the reason I do this is because I wanna be able to uh, brine them overnight in the fridge. And I know it looks like I put on a lot of salt, but don't worry. That salt is gonna dissolve into the chicken so that, you know, when you taste it, it's not gonna be kind of like that stereotypical unsalted barbecue chicken. So uh, once you do that, you toss it all up, make sure that everything is evenly coated, and then uh, put the top on, and then pop the chicken right into the fridge so it can start the brining process overnight. And then 24 hours later, I pulled it out, and this is what my chicken looked like. There is gonna be a little bit of juice that comes out, but that's A-OK. -okay. Just pour that out and keep on going. And like I said, you shouldn't be worried about oversalting it here, so you can go ahead and add some salt, then you can add some black pepper, and I personally like to add cayenne here. Uh, even though we're going to be making a barbecue sauce later, I like to add a little bit of heat right here so I can start to build up that flavor profile. Anyway, it's time for us to head out to the smoker. And out here I have a bunch of charcoal that you can see I'm uh, layering up and dousing with some lighter fluid. You can use natural lighters if you want. I personally have not found one that has worked just yet. So I'm sticking to lighter fluid until I find something that works. But you do what works for you. And then once you light this, you're gonna want to wait for those coals to get white hot before you do anything. Those coals are not mature enough yet. But once they get hot, you can start layering on your chicken opposite of the heat. Obviously, if your smoker has a different compartment for your fire, that's gonna be a lot easier for you. But if you're like me, then just try to make sure that it's uh, away from the fire. Free tip here, put your grate over the fire so you can more easily clean off any dirt or grime from the elements or maybe the last time you smoked something. Of course, off screen, I didn't show this, I'm sorry, but I did uh, drizzle these with oil before I put them on the grates. And now before I close up this lid, I'm gonna put some oak wood on the, uh, the coals so that can just start to you know, flavor the, uh, the chicken. And now we're gonna close that and uh, put the, uh, and then we're gonna adjust the smokestack just so that uh, smoke has a good amount of time to penetrate that chicken before it escapes. We're gonna leave it here for an entire hour. Obviously you can leave it longer if you want and add more smoke flavor, that'd be delicious. I'm just gonna leave it for an hour and then just finish it up in the oven. It should be perfectly fine. And one of the best ways to ensure that your chicken is thoroughly cooked all the way. And when you're cooking this, you wanna make sure that you maintain a temperature between 250 and 300 degrees but you know, obviously leaning much more towards 250 degrees. And if your fire doesn't get up to that temperature, then you're, we're putting it in the oven anyway. So this is gonna turn out great either way. And an hour later, and check out these. These look so good, but we're not done just yet. So, we're gonna take those off the heat 
and then we're gonna take those inside and cook them the rest of the way in the oven. And this is where my favorite part comes in. It's time for some barbecue sauce, baby. In a saucepan over medium heat, we're gonna add some ketchup, some sriracha, some soy sauce, some honey, some brown sugar, salt, black pepper, and some other spices, and some sesame oil, shh, my secret, and some crystal hot sauce. And we're gonna mix this over medium heat until it starts to thicken, and we're gonna mix that over medium heat until all the ingredients are mixed together. Then we're gonna bring that up to a simmer, then once it reaches a simmer, bring it down to low. As you can see right now, my siblings are trying to get their five seconds of fame on television, which I'm letting them for the time being, uh, not for too long. Back to the barbecue sauce. So as you can see, it's really starting to thicken up. It's only gonna get even thicker as this cools off of the heat. As you can see, my chicken is ready to be drizzled, and here we go. And let me tell you folks, that chicken was absolutely delicious. I would eat it even if it wasn't the Super Bowl. If you want this recipe, we'll be posting it to our Facebook page for you to recreate or adapt to however you want it to be. It doesn't even have to be Asian inspired. You could do normal barbecue smoked chicken. You could do curry barbecue smoked chicken. There's really an endless amount of options here. Like you can get as creative as you want to get with this. And hey, if you make something nice, show us on Facebook, we'd love to see it. And there you have it. That's my recipe for some nice barbecue smoked chicken. And for the barbecue sauce, you can honestly adjust it to your taste, you know, uh, substitute the uh, honey with maple syrup with brown sugar. You don't even have to add in the soy sauce. One thing I did want to add in, but I forgot was some Worcestershire sauce. But you make it to however you like to have barbecue sauce. Thanks for watching live in Tallahassee. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram for more content.